Now, I guess I wanted to chat to you today about when we go through challenges in life or we want a certain outcome in terms of whether it be a relationship or whether it is something that um, is happening in our life that's a life experience that might be stressing us a bit, yeah? And, you know, we're all in the same boat. So I always come back to this, you know, this analogy that life is never smooth. Yeah, it's always this dipping and highs and lows and the, the highs, you know, which make us joyful and happy. Uh, they kind of, you know, appreciate that contrast between the challenges in life because without those challenges, we wouldn't understand what joy is versus what a challenge is, yeah, to really appreciate those moments. And you know, if you think that you're going to go through life and there's not going to be bumps on the road, well, you're in a bit of an illusionary state because there always is, yeah? And sometimes they can be totally unexpected and they can, you know, really impact your emotions and your stress levels and, you know, your physical body as well as your mental, you know, your mental thought processes, your mindset and your emotions. And so what is one of the ways in which you can release that stress and the anxiety around those kind of situations? And it'll be different for each of you, yeah? So firstly, it's, you know, I, I even when I speak to some of my girlfriends, right, they'll chat about something that's really bothering them and then they'll go, oh, I just got to get on with it. And I'll go, actually, no, this is very healthy for you to chat about this and to get it off your chest and to release it, right? Don't push it down, let it out. You know, I often say to people, if you feel like you need to have a cry, have a cry. You know why? Because it releases the stress out of your body and the emotions out. Because when we just keep shoving them down, whatever's bothering you, you know, oh, I'll just I'll put it to the side and I'll go off and do whatever I need to go and do, right? And sometimes that's a coping mechanism and it's, it helps you to just get on with life. But often what happens is it just builds up more stress and it's just like a little volcano building in there. And at some point it's going to erupt and often it will erupt at a most inappropriate moment when you're feeling overwhelmed and you might have a snap at someone or, you know, you literally might just lose your shit. <laughs> and it's like, that is unhealthy, right? So never beat yourself up about feeling emotional, but you've got to kind of go get into a pattern of releasing emotions in a healthy way. And how do we do that? So often it's trying to look at things from a different perspective and try and get a more balanced view about things, um, which can sometimes be difficult when you're bogged down in a problem or a challenge, particularly even if it's with other people, yeah? And how do you kind of find your own perspective and, and your own truth in those kind of situations? So I think there's a lot about reflection and looking on things and going, oh, how could I have done that better or... Did I trust my intuition on that? And is somebody telling me that my intuition or what my emotions are don't have value and when in fact it's something that's bothering me and it's and it's actually something that is my truth? Or is it old patterning and is it triggers that come up for you all the time? And you've got to own those, right, and go, well, there's, there's more healing I need to do or i got to get out of a certain way of relating either to myself or to others or to life situations, yeah, because we can all be affected by trauma and past, past experiences that are very negative. Uh, but it's also about not carrying around a whole cartload and baggage full, trolley full of the old stuff that's happened to you. So the next aspect of that is to release attachments to situations, to outcomes, right? So when you go, when you actually let go of some sort of fixed idea in your mind about how things should be or how you want them to be, and you just come back to that present moment and you just do whatever you need to do in that day or what are my next steps? And we can always forward plan and have goals and dreams and all the rest of it. That's not what I'm talking about. When you actually release attachments to some sort of fixed outcome that you want, it lets go of all that anxiety. It lets go of all that neediness and that wanting to have something that possibly you don't have or it didn't work out. Yeah. And how do we do that? So it's really about coming back to practices that really boost you up. Yeah. And that make you feel better. So what are some of the things that I do? And obviously for each of you, you'll have something that, that lights you up and brings you back to a state of inner peace and calm. 
Or hopefully if you don't, then it's about starting to do those practices because you're going to feel amazing. Yeah. And you will have these sense of coping mechanisms that you can tap into instantly when things are challenging to rebalance your energies and to rebalance your emotions and to bring you into a state of calm. And you're not going to always be calm because those emotions are still going to come up. When we go through things that are hurtful, those emotions can hang around for a while. Yeah. Until, you know, you've worked through them and you've released them. So some of the things that I do, so I do quite a lot of practices that really boost me up. So I love reading my own oracle cards, tarot cards. And, you know, there are people that go, (laughs) you know, it's a whole lot of gobbledygook, right? But there's so many beautiful messages that come out and so many inspiring messages. And sometimes the messages that come out can be challenging and and it kind of asks in your mindset when you're in that calm space uh, to have a look at things in a different way. And is that, you know, does that feel truthful for me? And so that's one of the things I do. Um, I very much into health and fitness. So I think when you're in a great physical shape, um, and it's not like we're always, you know, on the ball with that, right? Uh, you know, looking after your physical well-being always helps to balance your blood sugars. Uh, it lifts your vitality. It's also a stress busting exercise. So I had something come up for me this week that was a little bit challenging, right? But yesterday I joined a new gym. Well, it's actually been a gym I've been to before, but <laughs> come back to Mandra. So, um, yeah, you know what? I had the best workout, but I had a really hard workout and I really pushed myself. And I, you know, for me, I was getting rid of some stress, to be honest. Um, I do pity the poor machines because they'll get quite the workout. <laughs> But I felt great afterwards, yeah? What else can you do? Pound those feet on Mother Earth. Literally get that connection to Mother Earth. There's a beautiful nature walk here that I do that just lets me drift off, you know. And I had a friend come with me on a walk and they wanted to put music on. And I'm going like, I'm sorry, but you're literally upsetting my zen right now. Because for me, going on that nature walk, and this is, it's kind of interesting. So if you go with friends and things like that, you're going to be talking, right? And I've seen big groups do it. And you literally are losing that whole ability to tap into nature and Mother Earth and ground your energy because you're distracted. When you're not distracted and you're quiet and you've got to get comfortable with being in a place of quietness within and listening to all the sounds around you because you will, when you do that, right, you're going to hear the sounds of the universe. And what does that mean? You're going to hear the wind in the trees. You're going to hear the water running. You're going to hear... An insect flying past you, you're going to hear the wings of a bird flapping past you, you're going to hear all the beautiful sounds of birds and nature. There'll still be some suburban noise going on, right? But when you tap into a walk like that and everything around you, you're tapping into one, your higher states of consciousness, your deeper levels of self, but you're also tapping into that beautiful universal source energy around you and Mother Nature. And it's such a beautiful practice. But you've got to consciously, and on, I can guarantee you, your mind is going to wander and it's going to, it's going to replay things over and over again as you go on on that walk, which is to release stress, right? Whatever's bothering you, and that's okay. But there's also points on that walk. I guarantee you can do that for the first half of your walk, and on the second half, you're going to start feeling really good and really more calm and more balanced. And it's kind of interesting that when you are having those mental thought processes and releasing stresses while you're out walking is to also bring yourself back when you're too bogged down in something and go, I'm not in the present moment. What can I hear around me? Oh, I can hear some beautiful birds or can I hear the wind? You know, and that's going to just bring you back to that present moment. And you can also pull yourself up and go stop recycling through the same old story. Yeah, and just pull yourself up. So that's some ways. Guided meditations are amazing. There's a a beautiful playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll put the link down below. Uh, they're an amazing way to release a whole lot of stress and attachment. And I think also cognizance in terms of your mental thought processes, you've got to make a conscious choice to release attachments to self. There's lots of physical practices we can do because I'm also an advanced Reiki practitioner to literally cut the cords and ties from your body. You can physically just visualize yourself cutting cords and ties around you and attachments to self front and back, yeah, side, wherever, um, which is a great kind of physical cleansing thing. So those are some of the things you can do. I think the most important thing, if I can give you one thing today, is when you release attachments to fix things in your mind about how things should be or how you want them to be and you just let it go 
and say to yourself, well, if it's meant to be in my life, it will be in my life, yeah? If it's meant to come back to me, it'll come back to me. If that's a closed door, then it was meant to be a closed door unless it opens again. And then you've got a conscious choice about whether or not you want to <laughs> open that door wider, yeah? I hope that makes a lot of sense. All right, my loves, if you want to get more of my inspirational stuff, whether it's my articles, my videos, check out uh, tarotreadings.world. There's a lot on there. And uh, love your hates, but um, I'm going to go and pump out and do some workout right now and have an awesome, awesome weekend. All right, bye.